healed up very, very. This guy likes it. All right, on the list for one of the next projects. We're in stores and restaurants, guys. Your word for today is gonna be. Fred, we rescued. He was our very first video ever. With okay, all right, all right. Charlie's enclosure. We have been super, super busy between house fillings, uh, our new homesteading channel, and our really cool new business, HBH Farms, where we are growing microgreens, which by the way, if you guys are interested in that, make sure you check out the homesteading channel. We just signed on with a brand new store, with a brand new restaurant, really exciting stuff going on over there. So we've been crazy busy. I wanted to get to this about a week ago, but without further ado, let's get to it now. Really exciting stuff. We have our two rescued Oscars. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't seen these, we actually rescued them a few months back. Actually, they were surrendered to a Petco. They reached out to us through uh, TikTok. Desperado. Sitting in a old Monte Carlo. Take it easy. up over there we had over six million views on the video we got over 200,000 followers from it It was really cool and these guys had the worst case of hole in the head I've ever ever seen and since then we have nursed them back to health they've been in this kind of like quarantine tank that became basically their home for a while and it is time to move them we are gonna be putting them in our brand new pond over there with all our other monster fish and our rescued uh, ready sliders so really exciting one of them is completely healed up which is awesome just a few minor scarring the one, the bigger one that had really bad, bad hole in the head, he still has some awful scarring. It's unfortunately not gonna go away. Oh. <laughs> very healthy they have eaten like crazy um, we do water changes all the time so he's very healthy it's just not gonna go away the scarring unfortunately maybe over time another few years it will close up a little bit but that is the best that we're gonna do so we're gonna move them over really exciting because I'm gonna repurpose we're gonna repurpose this I'm actually bringing all of our crib insist from actually let's go over and take a look real quick so our 55 over here, we don't talk too much about, but I just really like it. It has just a lot of community fish in here, but we have these amazing fish in here called Cribbensis, and they're beautiful fish. They reproduce like crazy, and I haven't been able to keep the babies alive. We've tried a couple of different things, and I really want to because I love them, but I think it's just time to get them out of this tank. So we're gonna make that a new Cribbensis tank. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna put some new hiding spots in there. We're gonna put all of them in there. They won't eat their babies, which is really cool, so we won't have to put like a net or anything in there. They'll just continue to have babies, they'll grow, and we can actually sell those people who are interested because again, once you have a mated pair, it's really awesome. So we have about three mated pairs in there. Lot to do, let's get to work, let's get the Oscars, let's move them over first, and let's see how they take to their new home. As always guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, turn the notifications on, really cool stuff coming. And again, if you are interested in our homesteading stuff, make sure you go check that out. I'll throw a link down below. Really cool stuff, especially the microgreens. You can turn little tiny microgreens into a $100,000 business. So you might wanna check that out. All right guys, so we are just gonna start first and we are going to get... Okay, Whoa. all right, she's feisty. I wanna get, I am getting absolutely soaked here. She is very feisty. I wanna get her over here and then we can kind of see her a little bit. You can see, healed up very, very well. Just a few small marks left, and she's in. She's in. Now again, guys, remember with Oscars, Oscars get very stressed going to new places, so for the next day, the two of them will probably be on their sides, not doing a lot, just really just kind of taking everything in, especially going with new fish. They haven't been around on the fish for quite some time. Everything in here can absolutely get along. The bigger catfish in them will be fine. The turtles in them, there is a really cool Bicher in here. And the Bicher, actually one of the best tank mates they can have are Oscars. So everybody should be fine and get along. All right, let's get her, let's get her best friend here. This guy, this guy likes to jump a lot, so this should be fun. I want to get him right out of the water because I don't feel like getting soaked again. All right, let's get him over so you guys can see him. And again, guys, lots of marks, lots. Of... All right, all right, all right. Lots of scarring from this guy still. Lots of scarring still on him, but again, very healthy, been eating great. There's been no stress. I haven't seen anything go worse or negative just to get a lot of scarring stuff. We will still monitor their, them in here. And most of these guys, we still, every time we do water changes, which we do frequently, we always put salt in here, which is good for all of them. So again, they should still continue to heal over time. 
but they were just at a point where they had to get out of that quarantine tank. They found each other right away, swimming together. We had Arnold, the red tail over here. He went over and kind of tried to see what they were. They have never had room like this. So before we even put them in that, they came from a really small tank that they were in for years. And that's part of why their hole in the head got so bad. It was a tank that was barely ever cleaned. They were very neglected and it was very small. So they had no room to move. So this is by far the biggest they've ever been in. Super exciting stuff. And I can't wait to come down here each day once they start to open up. These guys are awesome. Feeding them is amazing. They literally jump out of the water for their food. So I think this is just gonna even lead to more happiness for them. Most fish, when you move them around here, they're not going to eat. Poseidon just ate, so really cool stuff to see. I don't know if, oh wow, look at that, super cool. Very, very personal fish. Guys, after like the first couple of weeks of having them and really starting to bring them back to health, they have been super active and really awesome, to, like I said, to feed, but just awesome fish. They always, when we come down to the tank, they always come right over to you every single time. So I can't wait till they start to do that in here a little bit more too. So one thing I am doing in here just to get it ready for the crib and cyst is I am adding some crushed coral. Um, I love this stuff for many reasons, but these fish in the other tank are used to it. They're used to a higher pH. So the crushed coral will naturally bring the pH level up a little higher and it'll do it at a little bit of a slower pace. So I'm just putting it directly in here just to raise this a little bit and get it more to what they're used to and what they would like. The cribbences love to hide, especially once they are pregnant. A little terracotta pot in here. It's actually a really good size one. Put that over there. And then on this side, I'm gonna make a little cave out of some rocks that we had outside. If you've ever seen us, you know we love doing this. I love making just some DIY places for them to hide instead of just going to buy, you know, a large enclosure. Really cool. So a couple little places that the females will love to go in once they are pregnant. Um, and then a couple of other things I will add, I don't have right now, but I'm gonna get some more, just some fake plants and put it in there. Cause if you see that, it's a very heavily planted tank. They do love the plants. I'm not gonna put anything live in here, but I will add in a couple of fake plants for them. So temperatures are both really good. So all I'm gonna start doing is catching some of these. If I can, they're really fast and start putting them in. Anybody out there have crib and cysts, let me know. Um, really cool fish, I love it. I love the colors. Really cool when the, um, when the females get pregnant or when they're, excuse me, when they're getting ready to mate, they get a really, they get a really red belly. Hi, it's Mata. Let's see if we can get some of these guys now. Very difficult in this tank especially if they start to try and escape. So this is one of the males. So the males are the larger of the two. The females are much smaller, which you'll see in a minute. But the other thing they're gonna love is having much more space in here. You can see the red on her belly right there. This is one of the females. Really beautiful colors, especially in the fins there with those orange fins. <laughs> That's one way to catch them. So we got everybody out except one pair, which they are, I think, probably having babies right now. They're hiding behind their, their rocks. I can't get them, it's fine. We messed up a lot in here, so I'm just doing a quick water change. It opens up some new avenues for me in here. As you can see, a lot of the guppies came out, which I love guppies. They got some really cool colors, but they won't hide as much anymore since the cribbences who are dominant aren't in here anymore. So really cool, we'll get some fish in here. Make sure you stick along for updates on this tank every now and then. One of the next projects is definitely gonna have to be for these guys here, Crusher and Daisy and Xena, wherever she's hiding. Uh, if you never saw them, these guys have a really good story. I'm not gonna even talk about it now, but go check that out. As you can see, it's getting too small and too dirty. So this will definitely be on the list for one of the next projects. Most likely when we move, they'll go into a much cooler and larger place. Now, let's get to a couple cool things right now. I wanna do a contest today. I wanna do a giveaway. Comment down below the secret word. The secret word for today is gonna be Oscar only fitting for what we're doing. So comment the word Oscar, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, and we'll pick a winner in the next video. Last thing we're gonna get to guys before we get out of here, let's get to our good vibe shout out. Good vibe shout out goes out to Ronnie Green. Love the way you did the coop and appreciate you showing. I've been driving myself crazy trying to figure out how I was going to build one, I'm no carpenter, thanks. Ronnie, we are not carpenters either, but we do the best that we can and that's what makes this awesome. Just goes to show you that anyone can do this anyone if you put the time and effort into it and just have fun guys that's what it's all about so he was talking about the chicken coop we built last year if you guys are interested in that stuff want to see more make sure go check out our homestead channel we're doing big things over there our microgreens are blowing up we're in stores and restaurants guys amazing thank you all make sure you share this love you all i'll see you next video peace subscribe below look at this guy he wants to get they always come over to us we are walking to PetSmart. very small fish 
excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.